Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With Big Family Homestead. And you may be shaking your head thinking, is it possible? Can he be telling the truth? And the answer is yes. We're going to show you today how you can save over 50% on meats. Specifically deli meats. That's right. Uh, we have a bulk food store that most people have access sure. to bulk food stores, but ours is awesome. Mm -hmm. Ours is wonderful. We love it. It's called um, Cloverdale. Mm -hmm. and um, you It's can... in Curtis, Wisconsin, if you want to. Come on over. <laughs> Actually, the last time we were there, we ran into some friends from mm -hmm. uh, the channel. Yep. Eric, what's up, man? <laughs> and uh, the the trick is, well, well, here, the prices speak for themselves. So, for example, this particular bologna right here um, is an all-beef bologna. This would be about $12 a pound at an inexpensive box store. Um, but we got it for $6 a pound. Okay. So we're saving half. Half. Mm -hmm. What's next? All What's right. Next? Hard salami at the big blue box store would be nine ninety seven a pound for the good kind. And you did look okay? it up. I did look it up. So you can quote me on that. This is five. I don't have my glasses on. Oops. Five seventy a pound. So you're gonna this save is a some seven, money on that. This one. is a seven pound salami. All so right. you're gonna save some good money on that. All right. Now this one here is the big savings here. So this is a name brand. And at the big blue box store, for a four pound ham is twenty dollars, give or give or take a few boneless, cents. Boneless, of course. Boneless, not sliced, just a four pound ham, twenty dollars. This is seven pounds for twelve cent, twelve fifty. Okay. Fifty-seven. Yeah. This is about a quarter, about a quarter of the price. I didn't do the exact math. About a quarter of the price as it would be if you bought. A seven pound ham at the big blue box store okay so taking an average of all the meats we got and those were only three examples mm -hmm. uh, bottom line is we're saving about 65 ish percent overall when you average everything out right when you buy yeah. them whole and then you slice them at home yourself so mm -hmm. that's a significant savings yes so here yeah. we go we're going to show you how you vacuum suck them and yada yada yippee skippy here we yes. go so before you vacuum suck them, like my husband says, you could, you not could, you need to slice them. You could use one of these. You're not, it's going to take a lot longer. You're not going to have consistent You're gonna slicing. You're going to get cramping. You're going to get cramping. I, I, I got arthritis. I totally get that. I would use one of these. <laughs> and <laughs> if, if you're, if you're unable to afford one, Find someone in your community that you're willing to barter the the use of this for. Maybe a couple of pounds of the stuff you're going to slice and, and ask them, say, hey, can we use your slicer for a Yeah, day? especially if you're in the realm of people who hunt. Sure. A lot of hunters mm -hmm. have access to this. Yep. Or you could even make your own sausage if you wanted to yep. make a blend. Exactly. And filler and yada yada and right. yippee skippy. Right. All right, first things first, I'm going to cut this ham in half so that we have a flat surface. Slicing. All right, so now it's time to get slicing. Oh, yep, that's good, that, that there. Um, now I've got the, the thickness adjusted uh, to one on the dial here. It goes all the way up to 15, which would probably be a pretty thick slice. Too big. Too big. So I'm going to just turn it on here real quick. Make sure everybody keeps their hands clear because we don't want to lose digits. That one's probably a little thin. We'll get a new one. Because <laughs> yeah. we, we basically, we're learning this new machine. Yes. yes. But now you got a flat surface. Better. Let's see. Oh yeah, much better. Perfect. Yeah. All right. And you just wash, rinse, repeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see we're gonna have to definitely secure this to the yeah. countertop, or else that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well, and to catch it. So. To catch it. Yeah, because it just kind of flops down right here. Gotcha. So you catch it, and then I gotta put a plate right here. Press this up against there. That is a good thickness. That's yeah. just like the deli. All right, I really love this machine. It's really great. It makes this slicing super easy. 
super easy. And consistent. That's yeah, that's and nice. Consistent, yeah. And this is where Homestead Mama smiles. Yeah. So for us to cut this entire seven pound ham into nice slices takes took about three or four minutes. No big deal. No. Looks like somebody over here is really anxious to help you clean out the uh, slicer, Mom. I bet he is. Yeah. You didn't even say thank you, Brutus. This next step is optional. We like to weigh it out um, so that we have exactly a pound in each bag. Approximately, I shouldn't say exactly. Um, that way I know how many packages of this particular item we have left. And I'll even mark it on there, one of seven let's just say that or two of seven so that way i know how many we have left or even seven of nine exactly getting closer Ooh, Ooh. very close ah. oh, Ooh. let's go back let's <laughs> close back. enough that's close enough <laughs> all right so i kind of feathered it out here just a little bit so that it lays nice and flat in the bag um, By the way, we're putting them in vacuum seal bags. Right? Vacuum seal bags, <laughs> yes. And just kind of push that back there just a bit. And then we'll go ahead and vacuum seal this. One Make of the sure. Tricks. Yep, you got to put the edge in this little trough here. And get it nice and, and flat. And make sure this is flat along the heat strip here. Yeah. Make sure your heat strip is clean and. That way then, okay, so this one is different than our older one. You have to actually lock it down to operate. And then we're going to vacuum and seal. Um, if I'm using it for jars, I would just press seal. There we go. Not sealing. Not sealing. You gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Come on, food saver. Don't let us down. Takes a little bit. Come on. This is taking long. There. Ah! There, now it's done. <laughs> All right, so then we open it up and we have. You're done. Vacuum sealed bags. No, you're not done. No, you're not done. The most important part. And of actually, the I generally like to label it before I vacuum seal it because now it's all bumpy and oh, it will it's be flat. Bumpy. So I'll probably label it up here where it's flat. Kind of a little OCD about Actually, that. Actually, one, one thing though, the way that you did put that into the bag does make a difference because you may have a particular preference on how you like to stack your stuff in your freezer exactly. because you can kind of put that food in there in a way that it'll lay flush it'll lay or, flush, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, all right, mom, label away. And then it's round number two. And I won't do the one of seven or one of whatever until we know how many. Don't forget the date. Today is one, nine, 23. That is an important part. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, it ain't rocket surgery. You don't have to spend a ton of money to actually still feed your family well yet. Right. I think things are changing which is exactly why you need to be doing stuff like this. Exactly, exactly. Find a local place nearby. Uh, Gordon Food Service has uh, items like this that you can even ask them to cut it up. That's what we used to do a long time ago, uh, but we don't live near one of those anymore. So we had to find our alternative. Well, and GFS mm -hmm. used to not charge a fee I don't know if they do now. Yeah, I don't I don't believe so, but again, you'd have to check that one out. Well, so. and again, mm -hmm. not only will this save you money on meats, but cheeses, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. If you can get stuff in bulk, mm -hmm. cut it up, vacuum seal it, you're going to save money because uh, <sighs> here to tell you, prices are not probably going back down anytime soon. No, no, I don't believe so either. Yeah. So that said, mm -hmm. that's it. I'm yep. Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.